In this video, we're going to go over how to create downers. Uh, so right now I'm using PolyCreate as the example. Uh, I just picked a preset. So the first one I picked was just this one layer fifth of base. Uh, we may change out the um, the oscillator factory preset later on, but right now let's just start with this. Uh, one of the first things you want to decide uh, when creating something like this is what is your ADSR settings? Uh, so for instance, what's typical with a downer is you don't obviously want the A to be over here. You get more of a fade in. And that's just not going to be ideal for what we're trying to capture. So I'm going to put that back at zero. We have the sustain all the way off. Um, and the duration of the sound is basically being set by the decay. So if we had the decay at something like this, it's a little long for my taste right now. So where it was at, that might be okay. I'm going to turn this up just a little bit. Okay, so uh, the ADSR, I'm happy with what that is. So let's go over to the advanced. We're going to go to the motion section and we're going to use the pitch envelope. I'm going to turn this on and just, it so happens that this is pretty much what we're looking for, but let's pretend like you bring it up on a blank slate. Uh, it's not set this way. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to fix. So as I move nodes around, uh, anything to the right of it's not going to move around as well. I'm going to get rid of this node by double clicking and let's just zoom out for a second. Great. Um, let's change the grid to a quarter. Um, so what that is at the moment is just um, a half note duration, I believe. So if I were to put the click on, yeah, pretty much a half note there. So what we want to do is um, I'm going to create a node. So I created a node and now I'm just going to place it where I would like for it to be, uh, for the starting pitch to be. I'm just gonna pick something here and we're gonna put it all the way at the very beginning. So we already have it descending in pitch um, and we wanna make sure that this node here is at zero level, which it is, because that's going to be the actual pitch you're triggering. So um, what I'm also gonna do just for this sound, I'm gonna put this at negative one. Um, All I did was uh, raise the modulation wheel so the cutoff is a little brighter. Okay, um, so that's pretty good. Um, don't forget, one of the things you can do is you can kind of, you can move the shape of the envelope here. I'm gonna just add a little bit of a bump. Let's add a little bit of reverb to this, um, maybe even a delay. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't want it kind of getting in the way. So um, let's. See if we can create a more interesting sound. So I'm just gonna go in here and uh, you can either type something in if you know something or uh, just kind of click around and find something that may appeal to you more. That one's not too bad. Okay, and uh, then we can add some super attack. So with our 3.0 update, we did add this slider here for super attack. It's just gonna give it a little bit more of a pointed uh, sound in the very uh, first initial attack. Um, another thing we can do is we can come in here if we wanted to add a little bit more shape to it, we can uh, turn on the envelope shaper. But sometimes like you can hear that's a little too pointed for me, so I'm gonna keep that off, but that is something you can do. Uh, one thing I like to do um, is add the ring modulator on. This can actually add some really interesting um, character to any preset that you're really playing with. Um, so I've got that going on. Let's play with the sub frequency. So I kind of like where that's sitting. Um, let's go over here. I think I want to increase the decay just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's sounding pretty good. Um, let's see here. If there's anything. Another thing you could do, it would give it a similar effect as to what you've got with the ring modulator here. So I'm going to turn that off for a second. Let's go back to the motion. Um, let's turn this LFO on. We already got on cutoff, which is what I was kind of looking for. Let me put it on a triangle, uh, take the shape back to zero. 
Um, 16 might be okay. The amount's on. A little bit more space, maybe even some reverb to that. Maybe even a pan LFO. It's a little long for something like that. At this point, none of this is really necessary. It's just trying to give a little bit more character to the sound, give you some ideas on how to play with it and create something uh, a little bit more unique uh, with something like this. Um, the downer is pretty simple. Like I said, I've got it right here, uh, but if I were to put it all the way towards the top of the grid, that would really just be an octave. Um, and if some of that movement's a little bit too much for you, you can just you know, either dial it back or turn that kind of stuff off. Just keep it more bare bones. Um, I'm going to put the ring modulator back on. Anyways, it's fairly simple to do that. Um, so, you know, one of the things you can do is we've already got some downer presets. You can either bring those up and just play with them yourself, change out some of the oscillator factory presets, um, get a different sound or manipulate it in some of the ways I've shown you here with the motion page or some of the LFOs. Or if you want, you can uh, start from scratch and just kind of follow this guideline and uh, you can get some, uh, create your own sounds for that. Anyways, hopefully that's helpful in uh, some of your sound design. Thanks.